Uh, Nesta. Guinness Walker, his ball forward, cut out by Albion skipper Dara Roche inside the 18-yard area. DK uses his strength. The referee has got the whistle in his mouth, but he plays the advantage. Oh, great, with Jed Wallace, losing oh. Scott down into the penalty area right-hand side. Pulls it back to... Oh, yeah. oh, oh what, a, what save. a save! From Joe Lumley. Oh. We were on our feet celebrating the ball. Surely would nestle in the net, but somehow amongst the crowd of players, it was saved. Wallace again, right to the penalty area. Wins Albion's first corner of the game five minutes in but how have we not scored the opening goal what a move and what a fabulous save you've got to say well done to the referee for, for allowing the advantage the ball comes in you think malumbi has got to score and he should score and the keeper throws his arm up and pulls off a wonderful save what a start brilliant layoff by Swift we expected him to strike against his former club oh. corner is oh, oh it's come oh. off the post was it Connor Townsend coming in at the far post the diving header six yards out comes off the foot of the post and Albion have two big chances in the space of a few minutes they are knocking on that door firmly oh they're hammering the door down John it's unbelievable start I mean we had 15 corners or so against Preston and we never created one chance really the first one here and Connor Townsend with a diving header and it slams off the bottom of the post ball by Furlong into Swift edge of the area reading backed off initially squares it to oh, Townsend for another again. good save Connor Townsend with a oh. shot aiming for the bottom right corner and Lumley oh, he's listen. doing a Freddie Woodman oh. and he's keeping Albion at bay it's another corner he is in the moment that's two great saves I mean the shot comes in from Townsend I think it takes a deflection so he does really well yeah it does, does. take a deflection so it's a great save crowd of bodies around the penalty spot now they make their move, oh, it's DK oh, yes. straight at Lumley and he was able to palm the ball into the sky and grab it at the second attempt, not even 15 minutes gone now and that's four easily good chances that we could have scored it's Dan, he's looked up, he's looking for Carroll, he's missed Carroll and couldn't find Guinness Walker and here's Jed Wallace, one on one with his man for the moment, down to the right Oh. Half of the area, DK took it first time on the half turn across the face of goal and out of play for a goal kick. What have we had? 23 minutes, still goalless. Yeah, he's just the ball just takes DK a little bit wide here, but look at Dan, he doesn't want to get anywhere near him, <laughs> he doesn't want to mix with him. And can DK, can he just square him up there and run at him in the box? Maybe that was in his mind as that one dropped over the top as Mate gets in down the left. He's got beyond O'Shea and he's pulled it back oh, and Hoyler, save. great save, Palmer. What a save from Palmer. Across to the left post, the danger not over yet as Loom looked like he was pulled back by Malumbi, but Albion seemed to have got away with it. And Malumbi looking to steer an Albion break. And it's, slop it's sloppy pay from us. They shouldn't have got in there in a million years. You cannot go to sleep. You've got to be on this. And luckily Palmer wasn't asleep. Fantastic save with his legs. Malumbi was initially oh, knocked off the well, ball Malumbi. but somehow he's managed to feed it to Furlong and then to the right to Wallace he's not seen too much of Jed Wallace in this second half as he comes in from the right he lays the ball back to O'Shea just inside the Reading half but now he starts to stride forward the Albion defender out to the right to Malumbi he's got early oh, with the ball a DK with a diving header at what the near goal. post and Albion's goal scoring for 2023 he's under the way thanks to the American from Jason Malumbi on the right DK making the run to the near post a diving header and finally Albion get the goal that they deserve Albion won Reading nil well you just said it we haven't seen a lot of Jed Wallace I've said DK's been quiet DK knows that's coming and he throws himself at it and what a diving header that is fantastic goal and you've got to say it's been deserved and now the roof has come off of this and everyone's boing boing in. What a goal. Great goal. And that's Daryl DK's first home goal of the season. It's all about getting the sponsorship deals in. The branding. Throwing down the line to Thomas Asante. Turns beyond McIntyre, but the ball falling to Scott Dan, who clears immediately oh, so into the Albion half. Layoff from Rogic. Wallace oh, going through the middle, and he's gone beyond two of them. The goalkeeper's oh, committed himself. Down. Wallace in a really wide position as he clips a ball in. Thomas oh, no! Asante's header, but it's wide of the goal from inside the six Brilliant. yard box. Wallace immense as he drove forward between two Reading players. Got there before Lumley. He had to cross it. Wasn't a shooting opportunity and tried to tee it up for Brandon Thomas Asante. His header off target. <laughs> I love 
Jed Wallace, he, he's not the player with a trick. He, you know, he has got a trick, but he just pushes it past into a space and runs them. If you're a striker, that's all you want. You mm. just want consistency in, in your wingman, and you get it in spades with this lad. He's different class. J E and uh, Taylor Gordon Hitman warming up. Tom Ince, a low ball, flicked on by Logan oh, over the bar, and Reading should have scored. Yep, he's got to score. In fact, it was uh, Baba Rahman, the other substitute. Yeah, he's got to score. Absolutely got to score. He's plumb centre of the goal. John, got at least hit the target there. It's a great flick on from Shane Long.